seven and a half. We have just enough pitch going to the street, which is good. And we're just doing a little estimate. Tom is uh, just making sure this is gonna work before we give a price to the customer. They wanna bring this down spout out. Plus five. Plus seven here. Plus five there. That's eight. And it's eight inches lower to the bottom of the street, which you need to add either three or four inches depending on what size pipe's coming out of the curb. The driveway is nine inches. Yeah, up there. Mm -hmm. What they're doing is they're going to take all this out and extend their driveway over to here. So they want this downspout discharge to the street, which you can do here with a downspout in this town. So today we're gonna to be coring a hole in this curb and taking this one downspout and bringing it out to the street. We needed a permit for that in this town. They allow only downspouts no yard drains or french drains to the street um they do have a basement with a sump pump and normally the town will say no to this because they assume you're going to just be putting a sump pump in there but uh at least two years ago we put a big system in the back so there's a french drain a yard drain and a sump pump and it runs to the side street over there there is a street storm sewer that we tied into. I'll link the video in the description if you're interested. So since the town knows that we did this, because that needed a permit also, they allowed this. So they're getting their driveway extended and the driveway is going to be extended to about here. So we're going to be putting a pipe in using schedule 40 so they don't crush it. So that's what the game plan is. And I'll talk you through it as we go. Because there's some things that we're not going to do on this job that we would normally do. But because they're going to be ripping all this out. So it's going to be just a little bit different. Alright, so Tom is going to be sod cutting. He's taking up a strip of grass. That gives him a very clear path of where he's going to dig. And we're saving this sod. And we're putting this sod back. But this sod because next week they're putting a driveway in. Like I said, that's gonna go all the way to here. They're digging out all the sod. So we're only gonna just take the sod away and just throw it out. And they're also getting rid of those cement pads. So we're gonna be cutting that one in half and lifting it up and putting a pipe underneath. Same with this one. It is uh, very large, so Tom is gonna be cutting it in half, taking it out. This is all gonna be new driveway anyway. So we're just taking it out and just putting it in the best we can. We don't have to be perfect because it's all getting ripped out next week. So uh, that's what we would do differently. If we were, if they weren't getting a new driveway, we would take up the whole cement pad or go or dig underneath but like i said this one's just a little different so we just cut it into pieces so it's easier to pick up
And this is how we get the uh, cement slabs out. Got these rebar hooks. So now Tom will see if he got through. Sometimes the cement is really thick. Okay. Yeah, this over here is not. He has to cut this side too. It's actually connected. taking all this dirt away and we're going to be just uh, backfilling with stone. He repainted his lines. The top of the bottom line is six inches. Bottom is a little lower so he can figure out how deep he is. This one's going shallow because it's going at the curb and we have just enough pitch to get to the street. The homeowner wanted it actually to be over there and go to the street that way. But it's, we ran the transit on there, but it's a lot lower and it would be uphill to the street over there. This is the only place that it's enough pitch to get it out to the uh, curb. So uh, it's gonna have to be here.
and just a little update. Here's our trench, it's roughly in. And we will adjust it once we uh, see where the hole is on the curb, because that determines how much fall we have. So then we'll adjust it by putting some rock underneath if we need to bring it up or dig it down if we need to bring it down. But it is lunchtime right now, so we will uh, take a bite to eat and then we'll get back to work. All right, Tom is getting ready to core the curb. He has his core bit on and he has this little stand that he likes to use. He made this that way he can keep it perfectly straight and go right into the curb and doesn't have to hold it up as much. The tall, shorter one or bigger one? The yeah, short one's fine. So because this is only this deep and the carb is bigger, Tom has to chisel that little piece out before he can continue. Just like that. is through. There you go. Got it? Mm -hmm. Tell me when. Stand on it. Okay. All right, we do a lot of the vented clean outs for the downspouts. So what we do is we prepare a little kit. That's just a little tip if you have pieces that you use all the time. That way you don't forget any pieces. You can always tie them up and put them in your bin. Or the other, that's good? I'm gonna say in this port in the back. Okay. Seven and a half.
On the inside of that? Inside of that over here. Yeah. Sixty-seven and a half. Okay, I need to think. Have it up. Okay, how's that line up? Nice, perfect. Can I move this? <clears throat> nice. Beautiful. We finished putting the pipe in. There's the core through the curb. And there is the Schedule 40 pipe. We have to put the sidewalk back on here. We're gonna fill this in with stone, like we said. And we just have to screw this in yet, but get that straight. That is a vent and a clean out. We have just enough pitch going to the street, which is good. And like I said earlier, in this town, you need a permit to do this. And usually if you have a basement or some pump, they don't let you do this. take your thing and slide that part up and that might move that just has to go over that way a little big structure okay push forward one more okay We told the customer this one is going to sit high. What? I am. Four. To get the ball we needed, we had to raise the pipe up a little. So, they're having concrete done on Tuesday next week. Today is Friday. Push it.
You wanna put that screw in? I'll do this. Huh? Put that screw in, I'll do this. So this is how we left it. So we cored through the curb. This grass is staying. So we put that back. All this is getting ripped out. So we left it like that so the concrete guys know where the pipe is and they don't break it. This, these cement pieces are coming out. The pipe had to be a little higher to get our fall. But it's plenty low enough for the concrete. But for now, that has to be raised. They're coming, today's Friday, they're coming on Tuesday to do the driveway. And so that's how we're gonna leave it. Customer's aware of it. And there's the downspout with the vent. And it's also could be used as a clean out if you ever need to sneak it out. So this is how we're leaving it. Quick, easy job. Like I said, this is a recurring customer. We did work for them in the past, a rather large job. So we don't mind coming back here at all to help them out when they need it. So there you go.